I'm Milo. Let's go into the little house. It's not your toothbrush. Oh, good. Not <clears throat> it's your mom's toothbrush. It is not. This is not our favorite part of winter. It is cold. It's not ever going above freezing. Um, but there isn't very much snow, so it's not a, a great fun to play. We just have a little bit of snow and it's cold and it makes life a little harder. Um, but I think I'll probably say the opposite when we get our snow load this year. We're supposed to get lots of snow just like we did last year. This is the duck house and we put the duck house by the pond and the duck didn't go there. But then we put it right here where it is right now and the duck went in there a lot. She likes to, to nest. Um, at least a hundred feet, um, maybe 200 feet away from the water. And we didn't know that when we first set our duck house and we didn't know why she never went in it. But now she loves her duck house. Um, she does lay eggs in there and she eats and we, and we give her water here. And we're using one of the pavers left over from our paver project as a warm rock to keep the water from freezing as long as possible. What are you up to today? Um, I'm making a um, new home for our younger hens right next to the house so that we can check them often. Eggs! Eggs! Are there any more? Just two little pullet eggs. Oh. We gotta get them some nesting boxes. This is my homemade cyclone dust collector. So I made a, an adapter from the four inch port on the planer. It's just a piece of PVC. And then it goes down to the two inch vacuum hose, into the trash can. And so what it's doing is it's, um, it comes in at this angle and it sort of uh, swirls around there and the heavy stuff falls to the bottom. Uh, very little goes into the vacuum itself. Um, and so this allows me to evacuate the, the chips from the planer, which helps it run smoother and um, collect them. Some of the time I'll collect them. We'll use them in our sawdust toilet or we'll use them for animal bedding, depending on what the wood is. But this that I'm planing today has old stain and paint and some concrete and who knows what else on it. So I'm just gonna uh, bag it and toss it. Um, but it's still a great way to collect it uh, so that it's not just spread everywhere.
So this is a really common uh, available Craigslist material. It's redwood decking. Uh, people don't maintain it or they paint it then it looks awful and they want to get rid of it and put put down treks or something uh, that takes no maintenance and no thought and no uh, real care for it. So um, people often get rid of redwood decking in two by sixes like this and you can just grab it. You can see the screw holes and the framing lines on it. Um, we've used it for a variety of things. Um, I've used it for framing. Redwood isn't great for framing, but for light duty stuff, it's pretty good. Um, and it's really pretty when it gets cleaned up. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, so today I finished the planing of the material for our new and improved chicken tractor winter parking spot. That's what we'll call it now. That's the finished product. It's still got a lot of dings in it, some discoloration, some straight up rotten spots, but for what we're using it for, it's gonna uh, actually be very nice. Um, this had a lot of stuff on it. It had dirt, it had little concrete splashes and some ice and uh, all of that I took off. Uh, well I took off a, a layer of it just by hand before I put it through the planer but the planer is going to come in contact with all those things. So I have a set of blades that is just for um, junk removal. So they were in pretty good shape when I started, and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, maybe against my sweatshirt there, but they are completely hammered now. But the reason why I like the planer that I have is because it does have removable, um, sharpenable knives. So I can take this in, and for about $10, I'm back in business with a brand new sharp edge on it and it would be good for the most delicate of uh, items going through the planer. Um, but I ran this just long enough to get all the crud off, and then I switched out to some fresh blades to get it to what you see here. That's about all that we're going to do on that project today. Um, it's going to be a box that goes under our chicken tractor to get it higher off of the ground, more room for bedding, and also room for nesting boxes in it. I'm building it essentially like a raised bed. So uh, this two by six, just running horizontally, four courses high, it'll get us just under two feet off of the ground with our chicken tractor. <laughs> Good night, little house. Four Christmas.